Hello and welcome to Pageant Planet Live. I'm Stephanie McGrain and tonight I have the fabulous Sydney Lipsy, Ms. Galaxy joining me. Welcome Sydney. Thank you for having me. So excited to have you. Now I love that gorgeous crown on your head so I'm very excited to find out what it takes to win it. Okay, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> well, let's let's get started with interview. Now, what are the judges looking for, and how can we impress them during interview? I really think that the judges are just looking for the person that is the most genuinely themselves. I know lots of girls who have gone into interview trying to be the previous title holder, and it ends up backfiring because they're not the same person as the previous title holder. So, I really think that it, it comes across as when you're being genuine to yourself, that really comes across in the interview and it impresses the judges without trying to impress the judges. I like that. So just being yourself, being genuine, very important things to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what about evening gown? Um, are there any types of gowns that Seem to score better than others. Um, what can we do to really make an impression on the judges during evening gown? Um, again, I think it really goes back to finding an evening gown that speaks to who you are. There have been evening gowns that have won that stage that have been sequins and rhinestones from head to toe, and there have other, been other ones that are just jersey dresses with hardly any embellishment on them at all. And I think it's trying to find the personality of the girl and putting it into the dress. My dress was very, very simple. It was just red with some, some silver stones on it. Um, I've worn dresses, though, that are mainly sequins and rhinestones, though, and I haven't scored well in them because I just don't really like to be dipped and covered in rhinestones. But for other girls, it works. So I think it's just finding the dress that works for you and finding your personality in the dress. Well, you looked gorgeous in your gown. Love oh, thank you. So beautiful. <laughs> Okay, well, the fashion wear competition. Mm -hmm. What should we wear and how should we be modeling? <laughs> well, this is where it gets fun because really anything, the fashion wear competition is open for anything. You can wear a high-low dress, you can wear a cocktail dress. Um, some of the girls this year wore like the pants that have like the, um, the skirt, like the high-low type skirt over them. It's really up for anything. And I think the modeling is more of a modeling walk during that area of competition rather than a more pageant walk. Um, but this it's really the area that you get to show your personality. Like you get to show what you would wear if you were given the option to wear anything during that time. I think last year I wore a plaid um, high-low dress. And who would ever think to see plaid on a, <laughs> a pageant stage? Oh my goodness, I, I saw that. Oh, and I was in love with that. I loved it. <laughs> so that's awesome. Just really being yourself and showcasing mm -hmm. your personality and then going for more of a, a modeling walk versus a traditional pageant walk. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now photogenic is 20% of your score. So, what kind of photos do the judges want to see? Well, I think for the photogenic, the judges want to make sure that the girl in the photo is the girl that they are seeing on stage and the girl that they are seeing in the interview. If it's too airbrushed and it's, it's too much, um, it's not the same person that's in there. And a lot of times, and I know Maria has told me this, that they'll send that photo out and say, this is the girl that's going to be showing up. So you want to make sure that it's a good photo that looks like you. Because that, that's the biggest part, is that the photo in front of the judges also looks like you. Okay, so too much retouching, not mm -hmm. a good thing. Yep. A little bit's okay, though. <laughs> What, what about in terms of a headshot or full length? Do you think that matters? Um, I don't think that that matters as much. I think a headshot probably will score better than a full body shot, though, because you're really get to, getting to see the girl's 
face. Like you're you're really getting to see her up close, where a body shot might um, might take away from that. It might show the judges that you're trying to hide something or you're trying to take away from something. Well, tell us your best advice to all of those ladies out there that want that gorgeous sparkly <laughs> crown on their head. <laughs> Well, I have I have two pieces of advice. The first one is to truly be yourself. And sometimes sometimes when you're competing, it's just not your day. Sometimes you're sick, sometimes you look like the girl that cut the judges off in traffic. That's happened to me before and they didn't score me well. So and just to remember that even if you don't win, it doesn't mean that the judges don't like you. You may have only lost by a point or two. Or you might be the judge's favorite and you're just not ready for the position yet. And I think the other thing, the other piece of advice is don't stop trying. I probably lost 20 pageants before I ever even placed or won a pageant. So don't stop trying. Don't give up. If you want the crown, just keep going for it. Because eventually it will end up on your head one day. Well, I'm so excited to see the crown on your head. Oh, thank Fabulous you. Fabulous advice. And the Galaxy Pageants, so lucky to have you as a winner because you are incredible, fabulous, and so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for sharing all of those awesome tips and advice with us. Thank you for having me tonight. And thanks to the viewers for tuning in. And for more great interviews like this one to help you succeed in pageantry, be sure to subscribe to the Pageant Planet's YouTube channel. Thanks, everyone, and thank you, Sydney. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.